What's up, me head coach Manla here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a killer overhead squat video. But before we get into that, I want to discuss some of the limitations that people have that prevent them from being able to do a good overhead squat with a dumbbell, a kettlebell, or a barbell. Okay, uh, for this video, we're gonna be using a kettlebell, but the same rules apply when it comes to the limitations that are preventing you from being able to do one and how to address it so that you can do one. When it comes down to it, very seldom is it a question of your strength. Nine times out of 10, when someone can't do a good overhead squat, it's because of limitations in their ankle mobility, their core rigidity, their thoracic spine mobility, and their shoulder stabilization, okay? So if you look at the overhead squat, you have to maintain everything you to keep your core tight to stabilize your spine during the movement you've got to keep that thoracic extension that prevents the you know the weight from coming forward here into that thoracic flexion and you have to have a good stabilized shoulder girdle on top of that at the ankle level if you have tight soleus tight gastrocnemius you're not going to be able to get to the bottom of it so what i want to share with you today is just two really simple things you can do to work on those so that you can get into a good overhead squat position. All right, first things first, we're gonna do, and this is just gonna be like, like I said, a very brief, uh, abbreviated warm up. This is gonna be my Mace 360s. This is gonna be good for core uh, you know, tension, getting that good rigidity in your core, stiffening up to stabilize your spine, and also um, get good thoracic spine mobility as well as shoulder stabilization. All right, so we'll probably do about 10 per side. I've been doing these lately and absolutely love them. Everything up top just feels better when I do these before any workout that I do. Just everything just feels more integrated. Everything just feels like it's working as one cohesive unit. Don't have any shoulder pain. It's just a great overall piece of equipment. If you don't have a mace, you can easily do this with a sledgehammer. You can do it double-handed like I'm doing or single. I'd start with double hand first. All right, and switch sides. Good, all right, those, like I said, great for kind of uh, priming your core, getting that good, um, that, uh, that upper body kind of warming up, priming for, that you need for to get that good thoracic extension, good stability in your shoulders, so that you can hold that weight overhead without it drifting forward. All right, then we gotta address everything down below. We gotta address the ankle mobility. And that's really simple. What I like to do is just kind of rock back and forth kind of pulsing right here, get a good stretch, try to get further back every time, about 10 pulses per leg. Try to get that heel on the ground, you'll feel it stretch, the soleus and your calves. This is what allows you to get into that good overhead squat position without, let's say, having to rely on having a, a lifting shoe maybe with a wedge. Not that there's anything wrong with that. They're great, but. you also feel this in your shoulders. Now, those are just two simple exercises. You can extend it, but if you do these right before any type of overhead squat routine you do, and you start slow with them, and then work to have your loads overhead, I can promise you, you'll have a far better experience with it. So just remember, 
Before getting to the overhead squats, work on those four issues. Ankle mobility, core rigidity, so do a good core priming exercise, good thoracic spine mobility, and also shoulder stabilization. So address those four things and I can promise you will have a better experience with the overhead squat. Now, if you can't do it even after that, maybe just get used to um, being able to squat with weight overhead by doing an overhead box squat. Start with a little bit higher box. Once you get more comfortable, drop the box down until eventually you feel, test, uh, feel like testing the waters with uh, doing a regular overhead squat. But yeah, address those four things. Do an overhead box squat if you still can't do it, and then progress uh, over time to going lower and lower with the box until you feel comfortable enough to do the overhead squat itself. Now, let's get today's kick-ass overhead squat kettlebell sir. Thank you so much for checking out today's killer kettlebell training video. If you enjoyed it and want me to share more videos like this that help to inspire new training ideas, then do me a solid and hit the thumbs up button so I know you're enjoying the content that I'm sharing with you here. Subscribe and hit the alert icon so you get notified the instant that I drop new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And lastly, don't leave without first grabbing your free copy of the 101 ways to get swole PDF by clicking on either the image that you see right over there to the right or on the pin link at the very top of the comment section down below. Appreciate your time guys, have a good one. Mandler.